In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert hexadecimal numbers into binary numbers. So let's start with this example. A9. How can we convert that into a binary number? Well, the first thing we need to do is convert the A into a number or a decimal value. In the hexadecimal system, A corresponds to 10 in the decimal system. B corresponds to 11, C corresponds to 12, D corresponds to 13, E corresponds to 14, and F corresponds to 15. So we could replace A with 10. Now, each number and letter in the hexadecimal system, you could represent it with a binary number in groups of four. So A corresponds to 10, and we have a 9. Now, how can we convert each of these numbers into a binary number? So let's start with 9. So let's use the numbers 8, 4, 2, 1. 1 is basically 2 to the 0. 2 is 2 to the first power. 4 is 2 squared. 8 is 2 to the third power. 9 is the sum of 8 and 1. So we're going to replace the 8 with a 1. And because we didn't use the 4 and a 2, we're going to substitute those with a 0. We've used the 1, so we're going to replace that with a 1. Now let's use the same pattern of numbers for 10. Now 10 is the sum of 8 and 2. So because we use those numbers, let's replace that with a 1 and we'll use a 0 to correspond with 4 and 1 since we didn't use those numbers. So 10 is represented by the binary number 1010. 9 is represented by the binary number 1001. Now, A9, this entire thing, represents or is equivalent to this whole binary system. So this is the answer. A sub 9 in the hexadecimal system, that is the base 16 system, is equal to this binary number, 1010101. 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Basically, you just put these two together. And so that's a quick and simple way to convert a hexadecimal number into a binary number. Now, just to make sure that we have the right answer, let's convert each of these two numbers into a decimal value and let's make sure it's the same. So let's convert the binary number into a decimal number. So the first number we need to multiply by 2 to the 0 and the second one by 2 to the first power and then it follows this pattern. So we have 1 times 2 to the 7th which is just 2 to the 7th power, and if you multiply 2 7 times, that's going to give you 128. And then we have a 1 for 2 to the 5th power, which is 32. And then 2 to the 3rd power is 8. And 2 to the 0 power is 1. So we need to add 128 plus 32 plus 8 plus 1. So this gives us a value of 169. So that's how you can convert a binary number into a decimal number. Now let's convert the hexadecimal number into a decimal number, just to make sure that it's equal to 169. So we have A9. The first number we're going to multiply by 16 to the 0 power and the second one by 16 to the first power. Now keep in mind, A corresponds to 10. So it's going to be 10 times 16 to the first plus 9 times 16 to the zero power. 10 times 16 is 160, and 16 to the zero power is 1. So then you have uh, 9 times 1, which is 9. And so this adds up to 169. So because these two have the same values, we know that these two are equivalent to each other. So this is indeed the final answer. 
Let's try another example. 3B7. Let's convert that into a decimal number. So we have a 3, and then we said that A corresponds to 10, which means B corresponds to 11. So let's replace B with 11, and we have a 7. Now let's convert this into a binary number. This looks like it's uh, 21. So let me separate the 2 and the 1. Now 3 is the sum of 2 and 1. So we can represent 3 as the binary number 0, 0, 1, 1. 11 is the sum of 8 plus 2 plus 1. So this becomes 1, 0, 1, 1. We didn't use the 4, so the 4 is going to correspond to a 0. 7 is the sum of 4, 2, and 1. So the binary number that corresponds to 7 is 0, 1, 1, 1. Thus, 3B7 is equal to, and we could start here. We don't need to start with the 0, so we're just going to combine these numbers. So 3B7 in the hexadecimal system is 1, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1 as a binary number. Now, let's make sure that we have the right answer. So let's convert the binary number into a decimal number. So we're going to multiply this by 2 to the 0, and then 2 to the 1st, and so forth. So since we have a 1 in front of, or on top of 2 to the 9, we're going to use 2 to the 9, which is 512. And then we have 1 times 2 to the 8. 2 to the 8 is 256. 2 to the 7 is 128. Now, 0 times 2 to the 6, so that's going to be 0. We can skip that. And then we have a 1 in front of 2 to the 5th, which is 32. And then 1 times 2 to the 4 is 16. And then 2 squared plus 2 and 2 to the 0 is 1. So if we add 512, 256, 128, plus 32, plus 16, plus 4, plus 2, plus 1, that will give us the number 951. Now let's convert the hexadecimal number into a decimal number. And let's see if we'll get the same answer. So we have 3B7. So the 7 we're going to multiply by 16 to the 0 power. B we're going to multiply by 16 to the 1st power. And 3 by 16 squared. So it's 3 times 16 squared. And b is 11, so 11 times 16, and then 7 times 16 to the 0 power. Now, 16 squared, or 16 times 16, that's 256 times 3. That's going to be 768. 11 times 16 is 176. And 16 to the 0 power is 1 times 7. So if we add 768, 176, and 7, that's going to give us 951. And so the fact that these two are the same means that we did it correctly. So this is indeed the binary value for 3b7. Now let's work on one more example. So let's say we have the hexadecimal number 1d29 and let's convert that to a binary number. So feel free to try it. So let's separate the numbers and letters. So we have 1. Now we said that A is 10. So B is 11. C is 12. And D is 13. So let's replace D with 13.
Okay, for the first one, to get a value of 1, we just need to use only this one. So it's going to be 0, 0, 0, 1. So that's the binary equivalent of 1. Now, to get 13, we need to add 8 plus 4, which is 12, and then plus 1. That's going to give us 13. So 1, 1, 0, 1 corresponds to 13. To get 2, we just need to use this number only. So 0, 0, 1, 0 corresponds to 2. To get 9, we need to add up 8 and 1. So it's going to be 1, 0, 0, 1. So thus, we could say that the hexadecimal number 1D29 is equivalent to everything that we see starting with the first one. So it's equivalent to 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. So this is the final answer. So now you know how to convert a hexadecimal number into a binary number.